We begin the news at 10 tonight in Blaine County, which has been getting a lot of national attention due to its high number of confirmed COVID-19 cases. Per capita, the county has one of the highest contraction rates in the U.S. Tonight, Blaine County leaders held a virtual town hall to give an update on the situation and to take questions from the community. Our Misty Inglet listened in on that and brings us the latest. Misty. Well, there was some good news here for Blaine County. While health officials say they have still been getting quite a few people who are getting sick, they say that the shelter in place order and the social distancing measures have been effective so far. Still dealing with well over 50% of our patient volume being from people suffering from this disease. Dr. Terry O'Connor is an emergency physician at St. Luke's Wood River in Ketchum. He was one of four county panelists on a virtual town hall Wednesday night, giving updates and answering questions about the current COVID-19 pandemic in Blaine County. O'Connor says the last week or so they haven't necessarily seen the situation worsening, but they still have a lot of COVID patients. Because a low percentage of those have had to be hospitalized, the county has not yet reached its medical capacity. The county has processed about 1,000 tests with more pending, but health officials say that testing abilities are speeding up and the turnaround for results should be much quicker. Our testing capacity is going to uh, ramp up quite quickly, hopefully by the end of the week. Uh, we have two devices and testing mechanisms coming in play that are looking for evidence of the virus in your body during an active infection. So again, looking for the genetic material of the virus while it's in your body. Hopefully, Dr. O'Connor says by next week, they can run up to 1,000 tests per day, and ideally, results on most tests can come back within 24 hours. Blaine County Sheriff Steve Harkins also talked about how there were no confirmed cases in the jail, but four sheriff's office employees have been tested with one positive. As far as the shelter-in-place order, officials say it does seem to be flattening the curve a little bit, and the sheriff says most have obeyed the order. We haven't issued uh, any citations, so we've seen pretty good compliance with this, and um, uh, it seems to be working. But more needs to happen before leaders consider lifting the order. We need to see a steady decline in, in new cases over a period of time. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We've, we've seen a steady decline over the past few days. Um, I think we need to we need to at least go another a week to, to see that before we really start making strong recommendations to peel back. Now, something else that was discussed tonight was the county's announcement earlier today to start antibody testing. Now, this is not a vaccine or a diagnosis. What this would be would be for research purposes to try and help determine if antibodies can build up immunity to the coronavirus. And for more details on that, if you're interested, you can go to KTVB.com. Kim. Misty, so glad they're making some progress in Blaine County, but uh, still a, a lot of work to be done there before we're in the clear. Misty, thank you.